What is up everybody? Welcome to a new Let's Play. Let's Play Tor, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's like a tower defense-y, base build -y game. I don't know. I don't know. I saw it. Looked cool. I picked it up. Let's see what's going on with the campaign. We're jumping right into it. Toria, homeworld of the Toran droids, is under attack by the Empyrean, a vast and powerful droid empire controlling most of the galaxy. Alright. After refusing to trade their advanced weapon technology with the warmongering Empyrean, the Torans were declared galactic terrorists. Are we the Tor uh, Torans? Are we? Are we on the horde? A full-scale planetary invasion of Toria and total war ensued shortly thereafter, with both sides suffering massive losses. So you saw Dragon Ball Z Kakarot where I have to read super fast, so I'm like, oh god, I gotta go. Heavily outnumbered and inexperienced in war, the Torrens estimated the likelihood of their total annihilation to 99.8%. Hey, 2.2% that we don't get eliminated, so let's do this. In this, its desperation, the Torrent High Council made a radical decision to grant full operational command of the Tor class battle station to a primitive, warmongering, organic... Is it going to be a human? Welcome, Commander. It is, it's us, we're human. This is the XCOM commander. The XCOM initiative. Oh my goodness. All right, welcome to the Tor campaign. The campaign screen lets you see the current Toran and Empyrean control of Toria. The campaign will be lost if Empyrean gains full control of Toria. You may maintain control long enough for the Overlord to appear. Once you defeat it in battle, the campaign will be won. Gotcha. This is a lot. Invasion. Imperial forces will mount their attack in a number of successive waves. Be ready for any combination of units. Okay. Uh, let's look at the research. Research. The research screen allows you to unlock new tech, such as prime cannon weapons and abilities. Tor structures, droids, and aircraft structures are constructed on the battlefield while in build mode. Prime cannon weapons and abilities are equipped in the battle via the loadout screen. Gotcha. So we don't have, we have the ones in blue, I'm guessing. And there is a lot. All right, we'll look at that soon. Forge. Reforging a weapon randomly changes its qualities and damage for better or worse. Each time a weapon is reforged, it ranks up slightly, increases its minimum maximum potential. The maximum rank for a weapon is 10. X? Oh, 10, right. But it can be reforged an infinite number of times as long as you have the resources. So, reforge and make it better or worse, but once you get to 10, you kind of just keep going until you get a crazy good weapon. Well, I think we're just gonna jump on into it and find out what the game's all about. Hopefully, we're doing, we'll do okay. Crystal Grove. It looks cool. I mean, it looks like it's got a nice thing. So, we just smashed our Excalibur into the ground. What do we gotta do? Okay. Combat controls. The mouse to move and aim the cursor. Left mouse button to fire. And F to fire the secondary equipped button. Okay. Hold rice mountain button to zoom in. Got it. Understood. What are we supposed to do? Building. To unlock a structure, you must first reach it in the campaign research screen. Once researched, press an unlocked horse slot to open it. Build a structure by pressing its icon over pressing 1 through 9, as indicated. Press the right button to cancel, or the spacebar to cancel, and enter combat mode. Okay. So we don't have any of these unlocked. Got it. Oh, wait. Hello. All right. Take it out. It doesn't give us any indicators of where things are coming from, it seems, unless that's this. we got to power back up. The trees are getting in our way and our gun kind of sucks. Oh, we got it. Let's get the reload going. Any more red mist? Where are they at? Show me where they're coming from. Oh, there they are. I think... I forgot what the secondary fire was. It was F, okay. Get out of here. We'll definitely need a better gun eventually. Oh, we did it. We're the greatest players in the world. Victory. Crystal Grove secured by Torin forces. This is going to get hectic, I bet. This is going to get insane if I had to guess. 
Victory, Torin plus 13, Empyrean minus 13. There are seven types of resources, power, standard power core, large power core, massive power core, astrals, crystal, stellar crystal, and prime crystal. Power is the most ubiquitous and versatile resource. Power cores are needed to unlock slots and build structures, whereas crystals are primarily used for research. Mark is learned and press spacebar to go. Day two. So let's check out research now. So it looks okay, and then things in green that we can get. So covers the prime cannon and advanced nanogen coating, allowing it to automatically regenerate its health. Okay, so regen raptor. It's a structure, versatile turret that can fire. Okay, so this way we want to go if we want to build turrets. Physical force. I'm gonna go up. Guardian command. Command structure which deploys guardian droids at the start of every battle or when built. A total of maximum of 60 guardians can be deployed. Guardians are effective at engaging enemy infantry in melee and blocking small arms fire. Control structure which deploys an interceptor, interceptor fighter aircraft at the start of every battle or when built. Interceptors excel at engaging enemy aircraft and can also strafe enemy grounds. Ooh, let's, let's do that. And we'll make our weapon a little bit better. And we'll make our weapon a lot better. Oh, that gets mul that has multiple upgrades. I didn't realize. Uh, we'll also build the Raptor, I guess. Okay, back to the campaign. Can we forge? That would cost power. I thought we already. Yeah. Oh, we don't have enough power because we used it. Okay, that's okay. Select this one and go in again. Now I want to look in the build mode. Does the build mode pause? I bet the build mode doesn't even pause. Glacial streams. This time we slam into a water. Slam into a little lake there, shall we? Alright, so... We don't have enough money. Got it. So where are they coming from? There they are. Um... Will it hit? We got it. It's not dead. Yeah, I was like, it's not dead. I didn't think it was. Where are they? You send a, a missile at them. Oh, that... That worked. That worked well. Oh, we missed. We're baddies. We are baddies. Ah, don't shoot me! We gotta get better at the video game, guys. I'm sure we'll get better with time. Are those permanent, like, upgrades? Like, when we build them, are they permanent? Oh, shoot. Get out of here, man. Just launch that off and hope it hits right when they land. I think we did mess up some of them there, which was nice. We're missing so much, though. We will not lose. We will be victors. These little guys are literally a little bit more accurate than me. I think we won, though. Yeah, we did. We won. Victory. Glacial stream secured by Torrent forces. ka baby. Nailed it. Yeah, you don't get any control. We have all the control. We are the greatest. No one controls Toria but us. Day three. So I say that we, what's this? Oh, that's the mortar. I say that we, can we not? Oh, we do, we don't, we don't have any of those. Okay. Let's go to the research real quick then. I want to 
get this. I also think that'll be useful. And then I want to save the rest for building stuff. And see if we can get some stuff built this time to help us out instead of relying on my terrible, terrible aim. Salt flats. This is the area we need. We know I'm salty person. We need the salt flats. Anyone who knows me in real life knows I'm a salty, salty boy. Okay, we so we can unlock this. And what can we build here? We can build a raptor, a guardian, or an inter... Let's build the interceptor. Oh, we don't have enough. So that costs 50, 100, and 100. Oh, shoot. Oh, which way are you going to go, buddy? You're going to go up top? Hey, get out of here. I can't even shoot you. Oh, you can shoot me, but I can't shoot you. There we go. Got him. Where are the next ones coming from? I'm ready. Over there? Here, eat this. We could hit, we hit at least. We're not the most accurate. We need another. Uh, we need an accuracy upgrade. Next, next wave. Same spot. Eat shit and die. We missed. Oh, and these guys are quick. At least when you hit them, you kind of interrupt them, and they bounce around. Oh, they can go underneath the freaking... Got him. Got him. Oh, well, that was a quick one. We did it. We're the best, basically the best Tauren forces in the world right now. We're, we're like the only Tauren forces in the world. All right, so we need to save like 250 to build all those things that we've got unlocked. So maybe we should focus on building those. I'm not entirely sure what we should really focus on, but that's kind of like the name of the game, right? Is figuring it out. Oh, there's two invasions. I bet if we don't... I bet if we didn't like take one out... But we can only take one of these out and the other one's gonna like push us back the other way because we didn't go and stop it if I had to guess. Oasis. Now we can build a thingy though. I want to build this guy. And then I want to unlock another one and build this guy. There we go. We got only ground troops that we're up against, so hopefully... Hopefully our little fighter dudes can do a good job. Maybe, and maybe we should be zooming in. Maybe that's our why we're missing so much. And then we can hit R to reload, which I did not know. Oh yeah, look how much better we are when we zoom in. We're, we're so much better. This is what we should have been doing the whole time. And these guys kind of will tell us which way they're coming from. Yeah, they will. There was a new unit type there. Did you guys see it? It's called a Thrasher. Hopefully that lands right on top of the Thrasher. Oh wow, we got hit by something that hurt. I think it was the Thrasher. Don't let the Torrens die. 
Wow, yeah, no, that Thrasher shot that rocket at us. I wonder if we can shoot that rocket out of the sky when it comes towards us, because that hit us for a huge amount. That chunked us. Victory, but abandoned. Yep, so we get one, plus one. Yeah. But we get lots of resources, at least. D numero five. Rub our hands together. We got this. Let's go into research real quick. What's this? Accurate and effective. Loaded with plasma mortar shells. Deals area damage on impact next on infantry units. Prime cannon. Oh, we can't even afford that anyway. Oh, we can upgrade this. We might as well do that, yeah. Capable of firing sustained cryo beam damage, slowing down targets hit, short range, but excellent accuracy. Artillery turret firing conventional explosive shells, excellent range, area damage, and knocks down infantry's hit. Somewhat inaccurate, it can only target ground units. Can target ground and air units. Okay. I want this. If we win, we get 12. If we abandon, they get five. We need to do this one to have good standing still. So I guess we do this one. We want to win that one and have good standing because they get minus five if we abandon the other one. They get minus 17 if we abandon this one. Oh, and then our things do come in. Awesome. I figured they would, but I was just making sure. And I like how it builds. Like, it looks really cool. Targeting with priors default. Use aerial targeting to easier to aim. Left shift to toggle between. Okay. So, sounds like we're going to be getting some air units. I want to make a raptor. So left. Oh, that's not it. Oh, this is not easy. This is the opposite of easy. This is what I would call difficult. <laughs> Come on, Interceptor, take him out. We got that one. A little turret hit. We got it. Oh, that's it. That was just it was just an it was just a air assault. Okay, that was easy. But it's teaching us about the air units. It's very interesting. Very quick one. This is fun. So we have to kind of keep a balance, I guess. I don't know if, like, we hit, when we hit zero, if, like, the big guy appears or something. So maybe we shouldn't be pushing for zero. But I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Because <laughs> I'm probably going to hit that zero mark if I don't lose. Let's see. So I want to be able to research and build, basically. So I want to be able to build this guy, and I need 50 and like 100, so it's like a 150. I don't know. Let's... Research this. Alright, now let's see. Abandon this one and you get plus 2. Abandon this one and they get plus 3. So we need to do this one. So they get 5, but we still get the majority there. The pine field. It's so cool. It's so cool. Anyone who says otherwise is just wrong. I've learned about build mode. Thank you. Um, Rangers. Let's check out Rangers. Okay, this is a lot of people. Um, 
shoot off that. We were like instantly assaulted here. Looks like our guys were taken out mostly. Take them out. Good job, little turret. Ooh, that one was rough. They just like launched at us. They're like, hey, by the way, we're not actually gonna do you wave a wave at a time. We're gonna throw everybody in different directions good luck is, is what that one was that one no, that one was neat we control toria completely can we win the video game now <laughs> no we've won already look 100 out of 100 we win torin torin wins no that's not that's not how that works that's a it's a, it's a negative yeah okay well i hoped we need to build more things, don't we? Yeah, we do. All right. So. That's the big one, apparently. So we're going to go after that one. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of just going to go, man. I don't know where we're supposed to go, what we're supposed to be doing. All I know is this is the Boreal Valley, and we need to crush our enemies. We need to crush them. Maybe we'll spend the energy that we have in this one to... Equip unlocked Prime Cannon abilities by tapping Tab. Okay. Well, first I need to do this, and then see if I can build anything. I can't build the Cyclone that I want, no. So... We're going to unlock that as well. And then I want to go to tab. Yep. We got what we got. Easy enough. Okay. Where are they at? Oh, there they are. We're just going to be shooting at them now. Launch everything towards them. Try to stop these guys. Coming in on the side there. There we go, we hit him. I was like, I can hit that. I can hit that. Where they at? I have to ask you roly polies to get on out of here. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Alright. You can take them out, right? Yeah. Where are they at? There they are. Oh, that's a lot. Just keep shooting, shooting, shooting. What do we do? We shoost! Just the enemy Imperians, don't let them kill us. Help our little buddies, fire a mortar or two. Kills them all with fire, yes we do. I don't even know. I don't know, all I know is they need to be eliminated. That might have been overkill. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we did not get them all. Could you take him out, please? Thank you. Now we got him. Yeah, victory achieved. We're basically the greatest players in the world of this game. Boreal Valley secured by Torn Forces. No one can dare defeat us. We have complete control over our planet. We do not want to lose control of our planet. It is our planet. All of ours. No one else's. I want to build some things when we get back in, so I think I'm going to not do any research, and then just kind of... Okay, so this one's kind of 
it's it's fine to just pick whichever one because they all have low. I'm gonna grab the one with the biggest benefit. Medium, heavy, and medium. Yeah, we're gonna go with a medium resistance. I don't know if we're ready for heavy quite yet. Shifting sands. But I do know we can build turrets. Alright, so first off, I want to build a cyclone. And then I want to build a hydra. Abilities. Unlocking a different abilities. Press tab on the loadout screen. And we don't have any abilities unlocked. Okay, got it. Where are they at, though? We've got this. Looks like we got that area. Just easy little, little schustings. Take them out one at a time. And keep them away from our allies as we do. Oh, that other turret seems pretty good. The one with the little laser. I saw it shooting there. We gotta find where they're coming in. Right over there. You can kind of see from the shadows as well. This is one of those ones where it might be okay to just fire into the... Uh, into the crowd. Alright, this is not good. This is bad. Oh, fire that off. We're not taking any damage yet because of our guardians, thankfully. But that could change any minute when they die. So hopefully they don't die very soon. Our aircraft took care of the guys in the back line. That cyclone is doing crazy work. Oh, okay, we got that one. That one was, that one was a little bit, a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie. I thought we might have a, uh, might have had a trouble with that many people coming at us at once, but we didn't. We got it. We got it. I think we're gonna go try to do a little bit more research now that they're not even touching us these past few times. So maybe a little bit of research will uh, do us some good. We still haven't gotten any of the. Oh, there's a yellow one. That's what we need. I think it's to unlock new weapons and stuff. So this is the Chimera. What's this one? Spectre control. A Spectre bomb or Spectre's drop bomb inflicting massive area damage, especially vulnerable to enemy fighter aircraft and can only target ground units. That's probably pretty useful to have. I think we're going to unlock that. I'm going to unlock that and then try to get one of those built, I think. Still can't forge anything because we don't have any of the yellow pieces, but I think that will change. But for now, guys, I think that's going to be the end of episode one of Tor. Tar? I don't know. Um, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you got any comments, go down below. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscription button. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.